Heading into 2021, the global economic outlook remains weak. But amid geopolitical tensions and looming threats, China's economy held steady, as the country has always planned for the long term. In May 2020, Chinese President Xi Jinping first introduced the concept of a dual circulation development pattern. Five months later, dual circulation development was officially included in the proposals for the country's midterm blueprint, the 14th Five-Year Plan for National Economic and Social Development. So what exactly is the dual circulation pattern? This economic strategy is founded on two components domestic circulation, which refers to economic activities within China, and international circulation, which relates to China's economic links abroad. In the dual circulation pattern, domestic and foreign markets complement and reinforce one another, with the domestic market as the linchpin. Strengthening the domestic circulation can enhance the resilience of economic development and promote international economic exchange so that the dual circulation pattern can be achieved. Domestic circulation means China is shifting from an export-led economy towards one that's consumption-driven. One strong indicator of this push lies in retail sales figures. Official data shows that total retail sales of consumer goods have been increasing for more than a decade until COVID-19 struck in January of 2020. After six months of negative growth in consumption due to the pandemic, domestic demand is chugging smoothly along once again. But for China to rely on its population of 1.4 billion people to boost consumption, this means that more citizens must have a bigger amount of disposable or surplus income to spend. It also means China will prioritize small and medium-sized enterprises, which are backed by its rising middle class. It's also focusing its efforts on diversifying consumer service sectors in areas such as health, culture, sports, and tourism. To offset the fallout from the pandemic and stimulate consumption, Local authorities in major cities have been dispersing cash vouchers to encourage residents to eat out and shop. Paying attention to domestic circulation and new consumer service sectors have become the focus of economic development. Following the country's dual circulation pattern, we've held hundreds of shopping activities. Total consumption has topped 1 billion yuan. In the proposals for drafting the 14th Five-Year Plan, innovation is regarded as the primary driver of China's development. The quality and sustainability of domestic circulation depends on scientific and technological innovation. The U.S. crackdown on China's strategic high-tech sector has partly given impetus for the country to step up its self-sufficiency in science and technology. In 2019, China's investment in scientific research increased by 12.5%, up from a year ago. The state has extended supportive policies for areas such as big data, 5G and artificial intelligence. As the leading manufacturer of goods, accounting for 28% of the world's manufacturing output, the country aims to integrate innovation into all sectors and upgrade industrial chains. These have allowed the country to quickly resume production of medical and health supplies the world needed to fight the coronavirus. Some say that the dual circulation pattern is a sign that China is turning its back on the world. President Xi Jinping has stressed that this is not the case. The new development pattern is not a closed domestic circulation, but a more open domestic and international dual circulation. This dual circulation not only suits China's development, but will also benefit people of all countries. International circulation means China will keep pursuing opening up its markets and economy to foreign investment in free trade. As global economies make their way out of their COVID-19-induced recession, China's dual circulation pattern will be an important driver for economic growth. Dual circulation aims to forge stronger cooperation with its trade partners. The world stands to benefit from this new economic strategy.